hello everyone so today's uh, lead code challenge is U utf8 validation so you have given a uh, input data and your task is to check if the data is correct or not right so what is the uh, there is a two condition to follow the first condition is for a one bit character the first bit is zero like if you convert a data in, into the binary code if it's one bit it its first emit element should be should name must be zero and if it's n bit it first n element should be one and the n plus one element should be zero okay so what what it say if you have a data and it's binary first character is zero it is one bit character and if uh, it's uh, first character first and sorry and the second rule is if uh, n char n byte character the first n bits are all ones and n plus one bit is zero so let's jump into the code section so in this question we have given a list of the data 197 130 and one so what it say like our uh, uh, for U uh, utf uh, utf ad can be from one to four byte longer and uh, you have to follow this two rule if uh, for a one byte character the first element of the bit is zero it's mean like if uh, the elements uh, if characters first byte is zero it is one byte element for n byte character the first n bits are all ones it means if you have a two byte element it its first two elements are ones okay and it's followed by and uh, followed by n minus one uh, significant for the two bits being one zero okay so what it say like if uh, you have a two byte number it should it must be follow the n minus one like two minus one one uh, element with the one zero in the beginning of the bytes okay so let's uh, let's see this condition uh, let's check this condition in our our input so 197's binary representation is double one triple zero double one zero so as you can see it's followed by double one so it shows like it is two byte it is two byte character okay now what is the second requirement of the two byte character it's n minus one byte with significant of two being one and zero so uh 2 minus 1 equal to 1 so you, you must have to you must have 1 1 0 bytes okay so as you can see we have 1 0 byte in 130 and you have to fo you have to follow the last the and the last byte n plus 1 byte should be 0 okay so our last byte is 0 so what we should return we should true in this another example our input is 235 140 and 4 so our first first so in our first character our first three elements are triple one okay so it is three digit sorry so it is three byte number okay so what is our second rule if uh, it is three digit numbers so we must have two two bytes of one and zero okay but we don't have another one zero but we only have one zero once okay what it shows it is false so what we return in this case we return false let's see how we implement the code for this so first of all we check how much byte our number required so for that we create a function called diff check and our input should be number what we do we create a mask mask with one right shift eight minus one so what will be our mask value our mask value will be one followed by seven zero one one two three four five six seven okay and uh, we initialize another variable i equal to zero it count how many bit our character require after that we create a while loop while now we check if number and mask so what what does this mean uh, so so as you can see it compare the num up our number with the mask so what is our uh, what number our number is 197 the binary representation of 197 is 11300 and our mask is 1 followed by 7 zeros okay and it performed the end operation so what it return it returns the 1 the condition is true cause our first element and our both first element are matched 
we shift our mask to the right side by one what that mean it reduce our mask value from right side by one bit and we increment our counter by one so basically i what i do it count how many bytes of the specific number is our 197 number is two bytes i equal to one now our full loop run again our number is 197 it represent by this and our current mask is i followed by six zeros okay now what it do it compare it and runs it again now our mask is again shifted by one so it reduced the zero by one from the right side of our mask and increment the counter now our counter is two and our number and our mask is i followed by five zeros okay so it try to run again but as you can see there is a no match between our number and mask so what we do we return it i okay now we go to the main course of our program so what we do first of all we create a variable i equal to zero while we check i less than line of data it's like a counter so what we do we check j now we use our function in a code so j equal to check we give a input as a number so data of i if i equal to zero it input 194 it return us j equal to 2 now what we do we create another variable k we check if uh, we are not out of bound okay so i plus j minus j is not equal to 0 what we also do we increment our counter to 1 now we check if j is equal to equal to 1 or j is greater than 4 or k is greater than equal to len of data we return false so what this two lines says if our first element j is a one byte element or it is greater than four byte element or our k is out of bound so we return immediately we return false if not what we do we create another while loop while i less than len of data and i less than k less than and equal to k because we check if uh, i is not greater than our bound list we create another variable current equal to check like our we take a, another variable current and check data of current value okay so of now our current i is one so what is our current element our current element will be 130 and we check how many byte 130 takes okay so if we give a 130 as an input here our mask our mask will be one followed by seven zero our i equal to zero our number is 130 which is binary represented by 15010 now we compare it with a mask what it returns it returns one cause our uh, our uh, number is 130 which is one byte number so our i will be one and then what we do we check if our current is not equal to one so we return false it means if our second digit is not one byte it immediately re return us one we increment i by one plus equal to one what it do now it increment our uh, number from our list so our uh, third data is uh, one so it check for a one and returns of i to zero after that we return it return true like if uh, the if there is any flaw it breaks in the way if the code is run perfectly it return true at the end of the code so here is a full code that, let's try to run it control shift f10 and as you can see our input is a uh, 197 130 and 1 and it shows the output truth true let's copy and paste it into the site so as you can see our code get accepted and let's try to submit it yeah it's get submitted thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you like my video thank you